Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix 2x KO game not launching, lagging, freezing, crashing or other errors on PC. So let's go through the methods. So the very first method is to check server status of the game. So you should check the server status of the right games if there is any announcement related to server downtime. This can affect the game at will and it will not launch or won't load. So make sure to check the server status and wait for some time if there is any downtime. So I have already mentioned the link in the description. Just go through and check whether there is any server downtime. So after opening the game, here you need to select the game and then check if there is any downtime going on of the game. So if there is any downtime you have to wait for some time and after that again try to play the game. Next solution is to restart VGC service. So for that go to the window search search for services. Now here you have to search for VGC. Now double click on it and then here in the startup type you have to select automatic and then click on start and once it's finished then click on apply and ok and after that again relaunch a 2xko game and then check if the error is resolved or not next method is to check and update 2xko so go to the right client and after selecting the game here you will see if there is any update available if any update is there you simply need to click on update option and after that again check if you can play the game without any further problem next method is to run as administrator so here you have suggested to first go to desktop and right click on the shortcut icon of 2x your game and then select run as administrator so here is the shortcut you simply right click on it and click on run as administrator if this runs then it's fine otherwise go to the game installation folder and then select run this program as an administrator so for that go to the right games and here you need to select the game application over here now right click on it click on properties then click on compatibility then click select run this program as an administrator then hit on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and see if it's working if not select a disable full screen optimizations and then click on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and see if it is working now if not the same thing you need to go to the line underscore line minus win64 minus shipping as an administrator so here it is you have to go to the game folder now open line folder then binaries then win64 and here you can see line minus win64 minus saving simply you need to click on properties then go to the compatibility and select run this program as an administrator and then hit on apply and ok and after that check if you can play the game hassle free next solution is to repair 2x your game so for that go to the right client now after selecting the game click on the profile icon over here then click on settings after that select your game and here you can see repair options simply you need to click on repair after repairing the game files now try to launch the game and see if you can play it next solution is to update graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for device manager now expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will search if there is any update available for the drivers and after that try to launch the game nvidia and amd users just go through the link that i have already provided in the description and from there you can easily update your graphics card and then check if you can play the game next solution is to allow to execute through firewall so for that go to the windows search search for windows security now click on firewall and network protection then click on allow an app through firewall now click on change settings and now here you have to search for the game if it's listed in my case and the game has already been listed over here here you can find line you simply need to select both private and public boxes and then click on ok but if the game is not added you click on allow another app then go to the browse section 
and then select your game and click on open and after that it will be added to the list after adding it make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and after that click on ok and then try to launch the game and see if it's working now next method is to update windows so make sure your windows are updated for that go to the windows search, search for check for updates and here you should check if there is any update available for the windows so simply click on check for updates and it will check if any update is there and after updating your windows to the latest version now try to launch the game and see if you can play it next solution is to disable in-game overlays so for geforce experience open geforce experience tap on gear icon beside username now click on general then switch off in-game overlay options from where for discord overlay go to the user settings and game overlay tab here switch off enable in-game overlay option and after that try to launch the game and see if it helps next solution is to install visual c++ files so for that first you need to copy the link that I have already provided in the description and paste it in your browser. After that, download and install the files and then restart your PC and again log into the game to check if you can play it. After the website opens, go below and from here you need to download the Visual C++ files. Once downloaded, reinstall them and after installing, uh, try to launch the game and see if you can play it. Next method is to reinstall 2x Geo game. So when nothing works, then you are suggested to reinstall the game. So for that, go to the Windows search, search for settings. Now here you need to click on apps, then click on install apps. Now here you will find the game. Simply click on three dot icon and then click on uninstall option. So this will remove the game from your PC after that restart your system after restarting again launch Riot clients and reinstall the game and then try to play it and see if you can play it without any further problem so that's all for now in this video thank you